my name is Sultan, that's Danish, and uh, one morning we were having breakfast and we got stupid and started this company. Um, I'll give you a quick overview. Uh, Danish had done some work in insurance, consulting to them. I wanted to leave my job, and we said, okay, let's do something about it. Um, so it's great that we did. Now, I just want to explain the difference between what we do and a league or other insured tax. We're focused on commercial insurance. Uh, for companies, so not benefits, not health related, it's just uh, the business insurance. So, example, by the way, I have no insurance experience. Everything I'm telling you, I learned from him. Um, a general liability policy when you start a business, or errors and emissions uh, policy, or uh, directors and officers when you raise money. Whoever is raising money, you'll need that. Uh, so, we started this, uh, when was it? Uh, February 29, 2016 was our first day. And here we are. Uh, I don't know what's on these. OK. So what are we trying to solve really here? The effort that you know, Brianna mentioned, the papers and all that stuff. So we still have to ask you questions, unfortunately. But we're trying to solve that in some creative ways. You're not going to see that tonight, unfortunately. But that's coming. However, we try to make that experience a better experience as you're answering stuff. The time, uh, the, I'm going to go through actually a whole application. And it's going to be quicker than you trying to get a hold of a broker. Uh, simple language she mentioned. I mean, everything she mentioned, by the way, we totally agree with. So great job. I'm on board with that. Um, cost is an important part of commercial insurance, so we do try to capture uh, competitive prices for you. We are also a broker, so we do have many markets behind us. And we're always on in that you can go on now, apply. You can even go on your phone, and you, you can chat with us, and one of the brokers will probably get back to you. Uh, not me, though. Um, so. You know, one thing I do want to mention is, although we have a product and I'll demo it, our team is kind of our product as well. Without our team, we can't do a lot of this. And we were two people in Jan, and we're now nine, and moving on and on and adding more, because there is demand for this stuff. And uh, we didn't come from the insurance industry either. So let me jump to the demo here. Um, so when you come to our site, and we do try to keep you on the site, we don't want to talk to you because that's expensive for us. Um, you know, the first thing is, hey, wh what, do I, what do you do? So startup. And what we're trying to do is, as you type, kind of give you the options that are available and hope you pick one of these. Uh, we do have a other, but that's complicated. Um, so let's say, oh, you're a SaaS and did it? Yep. Uh, that's uh, unfortunately the fact of life in every startup. Uh, so then uh, we, we just kind of ask you what, what you're looking for. Uh, now, in this case, if you get the GL, you, general liability, you have to get the errors and emissions. It's just part of the package we have. Uh, directors and officers, great to have, but in this case, I'm leaving it out it's for simplicity. What we try to do is, uh, so we ask you the question. We have our broker's contact info up there. We don't have his phone number after hours, just because you know, he gets calls at midnight if we have that. And then we try to give you a sense of where you are in the process. All right, so I'm going to quickly just answer a few of these. Uh, these questions are, are required. We've, we've, we've cut out a lot of the questions, but there's still some we have to ask. If you're in Canada, if you have I mean, employees, that's an important part of this. If you don't, you know, that conditional comes, OK, tell us what you have outside. Uh, but let me just go, OK. So that guy at the top is trying to advise you, because one thing we realize is people are calling us because they're unsure. When we ask, what is your revenue? They try to be precise. You don't have to actually be precise. So we're trying to advise you as you go through it. Uh, but we're still here if you need us. And if you click, I need more help, the, well, it's not coming up. Why not? I don't know. But the intercom window will pop up, and you can talk to us. Um, so let's do that. This is what online is better than forms, is we don't have to show you every question. So if you, if you say yes to this question, nothing shows up. But if you say no, we need to know where your revenues are coming from. Now, advantage over a form is the form you see all the questions. It's intimidating, but this is not. So let's say you were just there. Let's go on. And OK, so test. I'm not going to fill this up. Uh, there are some things you, we have to make sure you don't do. In this case, I'll just say you don't do any of these. Uh, where do you work out of? My home. So email is, is great to get. We make it optional. It's OK if you don't want to give it to us. Uh, but it's great if you do. 
Uh, there's some legal stuff. She mentioned the legal challenges. And then we, we give you this, this price. And, and it's funny because this is actually, in your minds, maybe not hard to do. But to get here, it was a lot of work because people just don't give out prices for insurance policies in, in the commercial segment very easily. So you can, you can change the options. Uh, we do try to give you some idea of what you're doing and that what is liability, what, the, what protects your company from. Uh, and then you go on and you have to, again, answer more questions, unfortunately. But again, we're there. We're trying to advise you through it. Uh, and, hold on, let me, let me. OK, so I'll say no here. I just want to get through this so you see the ending as well. Uh, this is kind of, uh, we, do, we do this a lot, by the way, on the back, because we try to use a lot of information available, pulling and helping. So like when you try to put your address in, it does try to pre-populate. Uh, and and we, we apply a lot of back-end information pulling as we're trying to get an idea of your business. Uh, I'll jump these optional ones for now to keep it simple. Don't you love this? Yeah. Unfortunately, it has to be there. Uh, so then, you know, we kind of have to review with you what you told us. Uh, again, we have to do these things. It would be great not to review it, but you have to make sure that they answered right and they agree. Uh, at the end, what happens is, you know, you're, you know what you're buying. You got a price. Uh, you just got to give us. So this is like really bad from a product perspective, right? My name, I already entered. It should be in here. Uh, we'll, we'll put it in eventually. But this is about... Uh, decisions decisions so pick the date you want it active and we're trying to get a sense of where people are hearing about us from so that we can spend more on those channels uh got it you got to agree to these before you can move on you can pay for it by the way this is revolutionary in commercial insurance in canada just so you know like there, there aren't many places you can do this if any uh but let's say you say uh you know what i need help Again, everywhere we're trying to make you not call us. Now, once, once, once you say have someone call, call me, then fine. OK, it's going to do it. It's, it's going to ask you to share if you had a good experience. We, we have some masterpieces written by Danish about insurance. You should go and read our blog posts. Uh, but what happens with this is then the application goes into our system. The brokers see it. They quickly review it, and they send off that application straight to the underwriters who then because we don't right now have binding authority but you don't really sense that however because we were we didn't want people who are applying to just be sitting not knowing what's going on in the dashboards you will see a status right and as our brokers are dealing with the underwriter if, if there's anything complicated the dashboard keeps getting updated, so you're, you're aware of what's going on. And, and uh, to the point of coming from other industries and applying experience from there, I mean, this was really from uh, the online e-commerce world, where when they ship something, you can track it, you can see it. And in insurance, like, you talk to your broker, they call you in a week or two. You don't know what's going on, and uh, why? I, I don't understand why. But anyway, so we're trying to change that. Am I, done? Am I on time? Right. OK, so just a couple of quick questions. The other thing is we're just trying to make it fun. Like, you know, I have nice little icons and, and colors. And you know, I haven't seen these things in, in the insurance world. Now, it's not hard to do. But again, as Brianna mentioned, you, know, you have to go get permission, this, that. With us, it's like, let's just do it. What's the worst that can happen? You know? <laughs> we'll have an argument. So, OK, fine. You know, it's OK. Uh, all right, so I'm done. <laughs> Ask questions. <laughs> Sorry. You, sir, you wanted to ask your question? Thank you. Um, the uh, simple thing was uh, at had a quick eyeball at your list of things you're not doing, and that pretty much covers everything that would make worth getting the insurance. Uh, talk to the insurance guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, really, yeah. like, uh, if you're yeah. sitting in your basement oh, yeah. doing none of those, then why would you even bother? No, those don't mean that you won't get insurance. All it means is that we possibly can't give you a price online and that we might have to get more information exactly what you're doing so that then yeah. the underwriters can understand better. Yeah, it seemed to be quite exhaustive. You look carefully, that includes credit card transactions, oil, gas, and there seemed to be some 
kind of mechanical businesses, basically all the real world things. Yeah, you know, so I mean, if you're doing a website, who cares? Say 5% of our customers have something in that list. Yeah. Because it's adult entertainment, it's nuclear, it's rail, it's like this. It's, I, I saw <laughs> line items that were, uh, are you processing credit card transactions? Are you in oil, gas? Right. So quite uh, like, and, and it was quite a laundry list. So of, this is a small business geared uh, platform. Yeah. Uh, and very, very few in Ontario, which we are in right now, are in that space. But I would say very few of our customers click something in there. Yeah. If you do, we have to take you offline. That doesn't mean you don't get it. Yeah, the, the perception, uh, I thought maybe that you drive off those so it isn't really the 5%. Uh, in other words, like you don't see them because they say, oh, this is a dead end. It, you know, the, the those, uh, I interpreted it yeah. just, just casually as being a... Good feedback. Yeah, okay. Because so you might detail it, you know, what the, the implication is of the legitimate businesses. You know, they were a whole pile and I started thinking what else is there other than mechanical things and, and credit card transactions. You know, I realized you could be doing web design, but you know that then you probably don't need it anyway. Okay. Should get insurance Come on, no more. Oh there we go. Oh shit. This is pressure. She did a great job throwing this. Nice, thank you. So you mentioned that you market to small businesses. I was just wondering, what sort of channels did you use to reach them? Yeah, so we have a few channels, of course. We, def we do all the digital stuff. Uh, whatever you can think of, we'll try. We're early stage, so we're trying to figure out a lot of like what's right in what channel. Uh, we, do, we have partnerships, we have referral partnerships with folks. Uh, uh, a lot of startups come to us because the startup community just likes the fact they can get it done quickly and get it out of the way. The other thing that we're working on and, and we're just waiting on a few approvals is, is we're integrating into platforms mm. so that we can get people who already are working on those platforms and would rather just keep things in one place uh, to come to us. Like for ex I can see a future where we're integrated into Leak, for example, where the business owner who has their benefits there uh, would, would actually see their business insurance within their dashboard if they have one, right? Or the business owner who has business with us would see their benefit stuff within our dashboard. Because the future is really not about uh, just keeping everyone within your ecos ecosystem, but rather those APIs opening up more channels and more channels and more channels. Because that brings down the cost of acquisition on those customers. Thanks. Thank you. No problem. One more question. Time for one more. Going once. Going, oh, there we go. Go ahead, Danny. Uh, I'm a broker as well, and uh, every time we're talking about digital, some of the pushback I get from other insurance people is uh, it, that it, insurance is a very personal thing. It's like inviting someone into your bedroom or something like that, right? So um, do you find there's any pushback from people giving you, you know, intimate details about their business online before they've met you face-to-face -face, um, or from maybe other parts of the province if they're not right in Toronto? I don't deal with the customers yeah. directly. Yeah. In some ways, we found it easier for customers to tell us their revenue and whether they've had a claim and some of those hist uh, those personal points because there's no person in front of them. It's a machine that's taking that information. Uh, so I think in some ways it is easier. Uh, in other ways, if you have a personal relationship with somebody, they may be more willing to give you the information. But if it's mass market, I think it's easier for me, me personally, it's easier for me to give personal information if I know there's no human looking at it. It's a machine that'll spit it out and that's it. Yeah. If it truly is personal. It, it's interesting. Uh, I've done commercial sales too. And you know, some people you ask them for their revenue, they're like, well, why do you need that? So then I explain <laughs> to them why we need it, but they wouldn't just give that to me normally, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. All right, thank you. Cool.